Whenever you're dealing with a safety-related crisis, it really comes down to two questions. Are people going to be okay, and what are you doing about it? Those are the two holy grail questions. And I think that, that what you always have to look at is diagnostically, what type of crisis is this? I mean, we always call these things PR crises, but they're not necessarily PR crises first. In this case, what we seem to be dealing with is a software issue. And the challenge with something technical is who do you explain that to? This is not the kind of thing that lends itself to getting on mass national television and educating people about software anti-stall technology. No, you don't, it, you don't need to, though. What you need to no, do is make no, sure the you, pilots know. No, and that, well, that's right. But however, you, a lot of the criticism has been this emotionally resonant idea that is not in the user manual, which the company has denied. So what the focus really has to be is the customers. And what they announced yesterday, what Boeing announced yesterday, is that the focus is going to be scheduling these meetings to clarify how to deal with how to deal with the technology. And I really think that that is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, be because you're not any type of thing where you're trying to educate technology to broader audiences is simply going to fail. And the okay. objective in something like this is not to convince the news media that you are handling the crisis well, because no offense, they never will. Right. E Eric, uh, very quickly, we have had one of the pilots on who was offering some criticism of Boeing. He flies these planes, the 737 MAX. But even in his criticism, he was fairly restrained. His main points were that people should feel f safe flying on these planes and that he felt very self safe flying these planes himself and putting his family on these planes. His point was that it was a breakdown of communication, but he thinks things are going to be clarified from here. Well, no nothing is, is more reassuring than a pilot that knows what they're talking about giving people comfort. Look, I'm a terrible flyer, and one of the things that gives me the most confidence is when someone gets on the radio in an airplane and says, yeah, we're going to have some turbul turbulence, but we're expecting it, and we know how to handle it. So there, there, if you want to instill confidence, nobody does that better than a seasoned pilot. It's just that a seasoned pilot doesn't have to explain the technology. They have to simply convey, we know we're on top of it, we right. know what we're doing. Right.